Proposition 19 just passed in California. Well, if you're 55 and older and you own a home here in Silicon Valley, you need to know how that's going to affect you. I'm going to break it down in today's video. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in selling houses. And today I'm going to give you a freebie at the end that isn't totally specific to selling a house, but it will change your life, I promise. So stick around to learn more about that. Back to Proposition 19. So just passed. If you're 55 and older and you've owned a home here in Silicon Valley, I'm going to say at least 10 years. You've probably seen your house appreciate. Well, your property taxes have not appreciated as fast as the value, which means you're paying a lower property tax than say your neighbor who just moved in last week. Well, until now that could be a deterrent for some people that are considering either downsizing or moving out of the area, you know, somewhere else in California. They're like, gosh, you know, I'll be buying a less expensive house, but my property taxes might be higher. So they tend to stay in place. Up until now, there have been um, a handful of other counties that would reciprocate you allowing you to bring your lower property tax base when you moved. Um, but now, starting the end of February 2021, all of California will be open to you. You could move anywhere from Tahoe, north of Tahoe, all the way down to San Diego, pick your spot. And as long as you buy another primary residence of equal or less value, you can bring your low property tax basis with you. That's great. It opens up a lot more options. I know um, I'm almost 55 and some of my kids' friends are moving away, buying their first house up in the Sacramento area or down Temecula. And some of my friends are thinking of following them, but it's been an issue, the whole property tax thing. So starting the end of February, you're open. Bring your lower property tax basis with you and see what's out there for you. Now, another aspect of Proposition 19 affects inheriting properties. So let's say you're 55, 56, and one of your parents lives in the area. They're in their 80s and it's their primary residence, but they pass away. And now you're thinking, well, I really like my house. I don't want to move into mom and dad's house, but maybe I'll keep it as a rental property. Until now, you can maintain that property as a rental property and keep your parents low property tax basis. That's a lot easier to enjoy some passive income with low property taxes and most likely your parents didn't have much of a mortgage. But unfortunately now, starting the end of February 2021, unless you move into their house and make it your primary residence, the tax uh, property tax basis will go up. So again, if you're thinking of keeping your house but mom and dad's is gonna be a rental property, your tax basis is going to get reassessed to the current market value. And that could be one to $2,000 swing a month. So that's something to keep in mind. And I'm not saying that you need to sell that house. It still might make a lot of sense to keep it as an investment property, but it's something to talk to your CPA about. Um, and so let's say your parents had a primary residence and they owned another house as an investment property. The same thing goes for both of those. Whichever you have to maintain one of the properties as your primary residence or any other property they own, the property tax will go up. So that's something to consider. And it's something to consider also, maybe you're, you're actually older, you own some investment properties that you've been holding on to to give to your kids. Talk to your CPA. Maybe it won't make sense for your kid to inherit that property. Maybe it makes sense to sell it now and go buy investment properties, you know, somewhere so else. So evaluate your personal situation. It's not going to be the right answer for everybody. So those are kind of the main aspects of Proposition 19 that I think everyone needs to know. If you're 55 and older and own your own home, you've owned with a low property tax basis, if you've had it for a while, now you could sell it starting the end of February and move to another part of California and bring that tax basis. And if you inherit a property, you do not just automatically get to keep the previous owner, probably your parents or aunt and uncle's low property tax basis. It will increase to the current market value unless you move in and make it your own. So that's an info on Prop 19. Don't hesitate to reach out for more answers for your specific situation. And now back to my freebie that I'm gonna give you. I don't want it to seem like it's a little morbid. 
I've had this thing since I've been in my early 20s about being prepared for when I pass away. I'd much rather be prepared because it is the only thing guaranteed in life. So I have like a four page document that simple questions, you know, my social security number, my bank account info, passwords to get into online banking shows with payments I do automatically every month, um, doctors, my attorney, um, car insurance. And it, it just goes into lots of detail about myself. My kids get a copy, an updated copy once a year. It takes 20, 30 minutes to fill out, but the peace of mind is fantastic. So here's a link to my website to get that freebie. And be prepared for 2021. Go into it with a clear conscience that if anything does happen, hope it doesn't. But if something did, your loved ones would know what to do. There wouldn't be confusion. So back to real estate. If you have any questions, please never hesitate to reach out. If you liked anything I had to say, would you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel? It really helps. And until next time, have a great one.